This is an easy to build a paper briquette press using a cast scissor jack to give the pressure. Uh, I've got a set of plans for it, but they're not really needed. Just a cutting list plus the illustration that we show today will be enough. The The car jack is used to compress the, the material and to keep it together I've used a car ratchet strap. Now, there is a brick inside it just now which we'll just take out. This is the finished article. So, I'll put it down there just now because we're more interested in the press itself. So, now. The jack is normally fixed to there with two screws. I have drilled two holes in the base of the jack and two little screws hold the joint that I've taken them off. The piston is a, a piece of fence post, a three inch square fence post, but uh, that can be made from the same material as the rest. Two pieces of that screwed together and planed down would give exactly the same results. Now, I'll put this back in just now. Shouldn't have taken it out. <coughs> the piston is a rattling good fit inside the uprights and The top piece is closed down and they're restrained. With a ratchet strap. When the jack puts some load onto the the piston and up through the brick, you'll see it presses the wood up and it deflects quite a bit there. Now that's where the ratchet strap is holding it back. There is a pressure on the brick all the time and it will help to dry it. I normally use a lever press to make the bricks, but in the lever press it keeps the pressure on for only a few seconds. On this one here you can leave the pressure on overnight if need be, you know, or, or for a longer time. So it's up to you when you're using the press to stop before you overload it and and waste the machine, in which case you've got to rebuild it. The, the car jack has a rating of normally one ton, a, a safe working load of one ton, which means that it can probably generate about two tons, maybe even three tons, and that's enough to wreck this machine in no time at all. So watch this deflection that you get here and stop before you do any damage. Now, oh, I'll take the to bits now 
and show you just how easy it is uh, to build it. I have put sizes onto the, the various pieces of wood, but uh, I will also list them in an annotation in the film. So I'll just get a screwdriver just now and take it to bits. Before doing that, I'll show you just what the construction is. With two, two pieces of wood that form the feet to keep it steady. And they are fixed to the uprights by two three inch long wood screws. The, at the top we have a piece of plywood that covers the it's 8mm thick but it can be plywood, plastic, metal, anything at all that you've got handy but it's fixed to the uprights again and that holds the, the top and bottom all together now going up to the going up to the top of the press we have the top part that the piston and the material, the brick, would press against. It goes on there and there's another hinge part at this side which closes it. The hinges are standard 3 inch or 75 millimeter butt hinges that you would get in a hardware shop. Now, I'll just get a screwdriver now and take it to bits. Okay, I've done a bit of cheating. I've taken this cover off and put the brick back in to try and give a better demonstration of what we're doing. This is what happens when it, it compresses and you're relying on the, the strap, the ratchet strap that goes round to keep the pressure on downwards. And when it's compressed like that, the, the moisture comes out the brick a lot better. So, so that, that's cheating a bit, but it should show what's happening here. Uh, Take it right out now. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Let's pull the seats out again just now. I don't think I need to take any more to bits. The, see the 3 inch long, 5mm by 3 inch long wood screws that hold this in place. And 3mm or 3.5mm by 25mm screws that hold the plywood front and back on. The hinges are again held on with 1 inch or 25mm screws 
I would suggest you put them that size to start with. These are going to wear as the load gets put on them and at that time I'd suggest removing the 1 inch long ones or the 25mm long ones and putting 40mm long ones in the, in its place. The, the total materials that I needed for this is 1800mm or 1.8m length of 70 by 45 timber. That is a standard size that's used by the building trade and you can get that at your local do-it-yourself place. Uh, the lengths I've marked on it, but I'll, as I say, I'll put on the, the annotation in the film. Front and back, I've used 8mm thick plywood. I have drilled a number of 3mm diameter holes in it. But I found that not much water comes out of these because the the piston has got plenty of clearance and the water tends to come down each side of the piston. So I don't know how beneficial these ones are. You can leave them in or take them out. And going on to the operation of it, what I would suggest is overnight you soak a newspaper or a couple of newspapers in water and leave it to soak overnight. Then the next day, use the use the press, tear the paper into three uh, strips of three. You'll see it in my other films uh, how to do that. Make the press and set it on top of this same tray, and it'll catch any water that comes out. Then for the next day, put a further couple of newspapers in and just keep the cycle going like that. Well, I think that's really all I can say, because I have good luck with it.